Hello everybody and welcome on Book Cover, your humble host. And today, on Book Cooks, we're going to be cooking something rather, rather weird, rather different, rather odd, bizarre, strange, if you will. I don't fully know what to call it. I just call it good. <laughs> no, um, I'm actually thinking about calling it like a, I don't really know what to call it. A cheesy thingamabob. Let's call it a cheesy thingamabob. We're going to be cooking a cheesy thingamabob today. You'll understand that in a minute. So, what I've done is I've pre-cooked some chicken. That's not the important part. You can cook chicken however you want to cook the chicken. All you need is cook chicken. And, I would suggest, you know, having some leftover junk from the chicken. Just like that. By the way, this stuff is very good. Mm. So we can start with the cutting. Right. Now, I have fully cooked this chicken. You don't have to. It's actually recommended not to. I just accidentally was off doing something else, and I fully cooked it. My bad. You want it cut into chunks? Little chunklets like this. Now, since I overcooked it, I'm not going to really put it into the pan until towards the end. So, I'm going to get a bowl. A little bowl to put the uh, chunklets, the chunks of chicken into for towards the end of the uh, cooking process. For the pan. Now, you're going to need a pan and a pot for this one. I know that's a lot, by the way. That is a decent, good chunk, bunch of chunks of chicken. Alright. So, yep, yeah, gotta clean it off. Take your towel, dry off your thing. And you don't have to flip it over, mainly because it's not, you know, it wasn't raw chicken, it was cooked. Uh, I would suggest if you have raw chicken to just flip the thing over. Now you're going to need three small potatoes, two medium potatoes, and one large potato. Or one large potato. It doesn't have to be each one right now. Type thing. And with each one, you want to cut it into cubes. Can't tell, cubes are kind of the theme for this. Put you in there. Put you in there. One, two, Three cuts. So all you need. There you go. And then put that in the pan top. And repeat. And repeat and repeat. Boom. Boom. Now, I understand that I'm strange. I'm a strange type of cook. I'm a strange person that cooks, yes. What I do, what I know how to cook and where to cook is because of my past. Didn't really have the best of pasts. Food was not plentiful. So you learn to do with what you got. My brother can attest to that if he wishes to. If not, hey. That's perfectly fine. But, 
a lot of the stuff I've been cooking lately is brand new. I don't know how it's going to turn out till I cook it. Now I always make sure to cook it, cook it, cook it. I always make sure to cook it first. I always make sure to cook it first before I show you pages how to cook it. That way, I'm not showing you something that's terrible. I've cooked it and ate it before, before I show you all pages. I will try not never show you anything that's actually disgusting. Unless I do something wrong that match, then I will fucking, then yeah. I've done that before, I've fucking, I've cooked something that weren't the best tasting after it was done been cooked. Ooh, see how that? It's good, it's good, it's good. Alright. Now what you're going to need, you're going to need some butter. I'm going to use some parquet here. You can use any type of margarine you want. stove on medium, let that cook away. Now, there's another thing, there's a couple more things to this. Put some water in your pot. That's probably a good idea to start doing. Put the water in your pot. <laughs> Don't need a lot of water because you're only using one box of mac and cheese for this. Alrighty. Now you can start that cook, start that boiling if you want. Because it takes a while to do. So right here, as you can see I have three chunklets of corn. Now these three chunklets of corn. Oops, I think it might be cut. Nah. These three chunklets of corn, you can get frozen. Well, you come with a big bag of it. These are just three of the bag. They're all relatively the same size, so you don't really need to worry about that neither. But what you do need to do is you need to cut it off the cob. So, these little corn on the cob thing, my jigs, just cut them off the cob. See how they break up like that? Just a little moving, moving to break up. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. good, good. Alrighty. So yeah, you just you know, shave it off, shave it off, shave it off. It's I is from a TV show. I used to watch. But yeah, you uh, shave it off, cut it off like that. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. See? Perfect. Now, if you want to, you can go through and break it all up. Yada yada, blah blah blah, like all that. Hello. There's that. By the way, I love corn. Now, when it comes to the taters, you actually gotta watch them. Otherwise, you get burnt taters. You don't want burnt taters. 
mean, you want cooked potatoes, but you don't want burnt potatoes. Also, the potatoes and the cooking in the same pot will help with the uh, cleaning of the pan. So now you don't got that stuck on stuff you had with the chicken that you put in there. See? Now what I would recommend is adding a bit of seasoning. Yeah. So taters, add just a bit of seasoning. Just a bit, not a lot. A little sprinkling over top of it. This is actually the perfect time to add seasoning to it. Once again with the classic favorite, Miss Dash No Salt Table Blend. I would recommend anybody getting that because it is the best of the best. My grandfather always used it. You know what? If you want to add a little bit of spice to it, add a bit of spice to it. want to add the corn super early because if you add the corn super early you're going to end up with burnt corn which you don't want. How much do I like corn? So also there is a another just another couple things on the merch store. One thing is this mug. <laughs> I like this mug. It's the mug mug. Right now inside I have hot chocolate, so I like it. Now, this artwork here was done by Miss Daylover, who is an amazing person and a good friend of mine. That chick is just cooked to perfection. Perfection. Perfection! Oh yeah, that artwork's done by Miss Daylover. There'll be a link to her DeviantArt in the description, and there'll be a link to her YouTube channel. I want you all to go check her out. She's an amazing person. Go check it out. Whew, it's getting hot in here. One sec. I gotta turn off my heater. Let's see. And open the window. Alright. But yeah. So <laughs> yeah, as in in my childhood we didn't really have much in way of food. <laughs> So, a lot of what I cook is an extension of that. It's an extension of necessity. It was necessary for me to learn... Oh, you hear that sizzling? It was necessity for me to learn how to cook and cook with minimal amount of uh, ingredients. This is fucking good, man. This is good. You see that? Oh, that's so good. Not done yet, though. I'm gonna put that heat up to high, though. I'm gonna let y'all sit here and watch that.
Alrighty, so get you back just a little bit. Now, with the corn, just slop it on in there. That's all I gotta do. Put it out of the corner of my knife. Ew. Pots probably started boiling by now. Good. So, mac and cheese. Craft mac and cheese. Just please don't skimp on mac and cheese. All things in the world skimp on mac and cheese anymore. Oh man, it smells good. It smells so good. Turn it down low. So we can get all that good, good smelling, good cooking going on around. Right. Now. You can add back in your chunklets, but you can cut them small if you want to. This is how big I like it. And I actually don't want a lot of meat in this. Yeah, you want some? Oh, shit. <laughs> Stop boiling over. I should probably tell this is one of the bigger meals I've ever made for y'all. One of the bigger. Not the biggest, but one of the bigger ones. Now, all that in there, and a bit more seasoning. Seasoning salt, that is. Ah, 
nice breeze. I'm actually going to be adding a bit of hot sauce to it too. Nah, not hot sauce. Fresh red peppers. Not a lot though. Because these ain't your normal crushed red peppers. These are the hot, hot ones. Especially made. Leave that to do its thing. Yeah, this one's a bit more complex, complicated, and all that here. But, right now, it's pretty much cooked. This part is, at least. Put a lid on that. Head off the burner. Turn that back on high. Get yourself a couple oven mitts, because I'm a dumbass who got to do that. You off, put you over here, and there. You now you can see inside of there too. Ain't done yet. Now you could obviously use more mac and cheese on this if you want to. But I don't because the simple fact that you don't really need it. See, you have so much starch, so much vegetables and all this other stuff in it that you don't really need a lot of noodles. Mac and cheese is basically there to shove the cheese. Ooh, starting to overboil again. Look at this. What is here? What is here? See that? You know there ain't that much water in there. Alrighty, so that's done. Let me drain that and I'll be right back with you. Whee! Now as you know, normally I just use butter. But as you also know, because you just saw it, I'm almost out of butter. Now I am out of butter. Come on. It's out of butter as I can get. See? So, when we add the noodles back, when we add the noodles back, add in the cheese. Now, I've learned from my past mistakes though. You mix up the mac and cheese pot before you add the other stuff. Might be just enough butter. Might be just enough. That's hot. <laughs> All right. Yep, that was just enough butter. Lucky me. <laughs> all right, so now what you gotta do is you gotta add all this into here. Look 
you here. Ah, that's so hot. I want to show you this real quick before I mix it all together. See? One box of mac and cheese and a whole bunch of other stuff. Put together. Now. Give me just one second. I got to do a little bit of a cut so I can show y'all how I'm mixing it. Be right back. Alrighty. Now. We back to... Oh, shit. <laughs> I done put the camera on my other mix. Alright, now we back. There we go. Just gotta mix it all together. Mix it all together. Mix it all together. Make it look good. Mix it all together. See? Now, what you're doing with the mixing, now, even if it is fully incorporated, 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 damn noodle. Mm, good, good, good. Makes it just a little bit longer than when it's fully incorporated. That way you can get cheese over everything. And that's what you want. Now, how much is a serving? Well, depending on the person. But, for a normal human being, which obviously y'all know I ain't. There you go. A normal human being. That's a serving. I don't know why that's a serving, but that's a serving. That's for a normal American. And that's, you know, what most people grab. Now, what is my serving size? The entire damn thing. And that's not even a joke. This is one serving for me. I eat a lot. I do mean a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. <laughs> but, thing is, I'm not going to be eating everything right now because I'm actually rather not super hungry. I'm hungry, but I'm not super hungry. But, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed this while you're here. Uh, this has been Book Cover, your humble host. And I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And as always, please, I beg of you, don't forget to smile. Bye, guys.